guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is brianna hightower and happy 2021 um i think i can speak for a lot of people when i say that 2020 was not a very good year for many many people um i found myself very extremely fortunate in 2020 um but you know i know a lot of people did not and so i feel like this year 2021 a lot of people are just hoping and praying for more, um, hoping and praying for just a better, more positive year. And with that, I know a lot of people have been um, really taking the time to set goals for 2021. I feel like this was such a slow year for a lot of people that we've had a lot of time to grow and to reflect. And a lot of people really have taken advantage of that for this upcoming new year. Um, so yeah, I thought that I would just sit down um, again. And if you're new here, this is my new office and my new house. It's still like very bland. Um, you guys can see where I'm filming with lighting right now. You can't see my little setup I do have, but behind me it's still pretty bland, but we are gonna get there. I'm just blessed to be able to have my own office and my own space for my creative um, process. And then also for school, cause you know, girl's still in school, but. So today's video, I'm going to be going over my 2021 goals that I have set for the year. Something that I did a little bit different this year was, I normally have a bunch of goals, not kidding. I have like 10 to 15 goals. I would say probably about like five to 10, like but I would consider big goals. And then I have like little goals that fall under those categories. But um, this year I decided to just really stick to five really important goals that I really, really want to obtain um, to better myself, those around me and my family. Um, I might go into a little bit of, you know, details within each of those goals, but I really set five hard set goals that I want to achieve this year and kind of got away from all the little goals like how many followers I want to hit on Instagram because I feel like all those little things will come if I can accomplish these five really big things. So I challenge you to do the same too. If you're someone that sets like a ton of goals, just try and narrow it down to those really important goals that if you achieve those other like small sub goals will fall into them. So, okay guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you never miss a video from me. I do have some pretty important channel announcements coming up here in a few videos. So please stick around and stay tuned for those. All right guys, we will continue on with the video. So I do have um, a couple of notes here. I write down my um, my goals in my intention journal, but um, one of my best friends actually got me that and I wrote them down on the front and then I'm going to just kind of go through that journal throughout the year. But um, I did write them down here on my notes just so I have them like fresh and in my head. Um, so yeah, goal number one. Goal number one is going to be to be less stressed. That might seem like a very broad goal, but for me, it is not. Be less stressed. What does that mean? I am a very like high anxiety, high stress person. I have really been working on it because it really does affect like my marriage. I will just get so stressed out and so upset at like my husband for literally no reason to where lately he's really like seriously been working with me. If he immediately notices that I'm getting like really high stress, He'll just be like, hey, let's let's take some breaths. And I literally have to stop and just and take a few breaths. And I feel like it's in all aspects of my life. Um, my stress is valid, so I try not to invalidate my stress. A lot of my stress I put on myself though, because I am involved in like a lot of different things. Um, but yeah, that's my number one goal is just to be a less stressed person, not to take things in life as I guess like Seriously because I think that's why I stress so much because I put so much into everything that I'll just get super overwhelmed So just to be a little bit more easygoing and less stressed um, Especially here in my home life because it like I said it really affects my home life when Bree is just like A stressed out mess all of the time. So that is by far my number one goal I think that if I can be less stressed, I'm going to feel better in so many different aspects of my life so that is why it's my number one. So my number two goal is to work less on my weekends. Now, what I mean by that, again, if you are a new viewer, um, 
I have a full-time job. I'm a military contractor on an Air Force base. So that is my like Monday through Friday, you know, nine to five. It's seven to three, but you know what I mean, nine to five job. So, you know, with having a full-time job, um, I am typically a full-time student. I am taking two semesters off. I just finished my bachelor's um, two weeks ago, so that's exciting. So I am taking um, some time off prior to starting my master's, but typically I'm a full-time student and then I work full-time and then I do have, you know, my husband and my son and then I do full-time social media work, which it that is a full-time job, 100% video coming on that soon um and so i find myself on my weekends like i don't have a weekend my weekend i'm still working um i'm filming for youtube which i love i enjoy doing social media content and filming these videos but i would like to find myself working less especially on my weekends if i can work less monday through friday as well like That would be amazing and I'd also want to do that to shorten my work days um, because right now with everything that I do throughout the week I'm probably I'm doing probably like 12 hour work days Monday through Friday if you consider you know my job plus any like social media content creation stuff that I'm doing um, but I just want to work less I want to work less you know my son is about to be two and these young years of his life like I don't want to like waste them away just working all the time and it's a really fine line because I am so young and right now is a time when you want to be working extremely hard to get where you want to be in life. And I agree with that, but while I agree with that, I do not feel like you should be working so much that you're not also enjoying your young years and enjoying my child when he's young. Um, so yeah, I also think that, like I said, my five goals pretty much all tie into each other. And I also feel like if I'm working less on the weekends that is going to uh, have me not be as stressed because I'm gonna have that time to like rewind and regroup with my family so that's why working less on the weekends is my second biggest goal and I do and this goal also kind of does tie in with my fifth goal um which I'll just talk about it now because I think it really ties in well so my I'll make it my third goal now my third goal is to be more intentional in 2021. What do I mean by be more intentional? So when I, let's use work as an example. When I'm at work, I want to be intentional at work, not be on my cell phone, you know, dilly dallying, not, you know, doing things. I want to be intentional. When I sit down to work, I want to work at my, you know, day job. I'm going to sit down, get whatever I need done, done in my first like couple hours if I can. And then the rest of my job is kind of like as a people need things type thing. But I want to sit down and be very intentional for those first couple hours. And then same with my social media work. When I sit down to film, when I sit down to plan out my month videos, um, when I go out to do content creation for different brands, I want to be able to really take like two maybe three like hours and just be super intentional and get what i need done so that way i am done with it i'm not spending all day doing like content creation on the weekends and so on and so forth so i want to be more intentional that does include the content that i'm putting out i want to be more intentional with the videos i'm making even if it's a vlog like my daily vlogs that i do i want to be more intentional i do see the videos and vlogs that do the best on this channel and so i really want to hold on to like all of those different analytics and just be more intentional with what i'm putting out to my audience with what i am doing with my time and again i feel like being more intentional is going to lead to working less which in return what less stress because again that is my number one goal i want to be a less stressed out person because life is too short my life is beautiful and I shouldn't be this stressed out if we are being honest. All right, my next goal for 2021, I briefly touched on, um, is, go is to start my master's program. That is a big goal for me. Um, to be honest, I have never taken more than like eight weeks off of school since I started in 2016. Um, and the reason for that is because I just feel like I don't want to, I never wanted to like stop school, even through like all my military service, through deploying overseas. I was always at least in one to two classes because I just felt like if I stopped, it was going to be really hard to start back up. 
But just right now with everything that you know has been going on, I really feel like I need a break. I need to breathe. Um, so that is what is driving me to take, you know, this, it's going to be about two to three semesters off. I'm not starting back up until probably about the springtime, like April or, or May time frame. And my master's classes are only eight weeks. So that's like, you know, two to three semesters. Um, but yeah, so a big goal I have for 2021 is to begin my master's program. Um, something that I've really been looking forward to for years. That goal is, like I said, it's a pretty... It seems like a pretty simple goal, but just starting it is going to be huge for me. And so it's something that I'm really looking forward to in 2021 is to begin that journey of getting my master's degree. Um, so yeah, that goal is pretty simple. I don't really have much to say about it, but it's one of my five. So it is a goal. And my last goal for 2021 is probably the um, biggest goal for me, I'd say. Um, and I feel like especially the top three goals all lead into this happening. So in 2021, I really want to get pregnant. I, I really want another baby. Um, I've been wanting another baby. If you've been on this channel, we've been trying for quite some time now. But in 2021, I, I really want to fall pregnant. And some people, some of you are probably going to be like, that's not really a goal. But it is a goal and I know, you know, it's not a goal that I can just snap my fingers and make happen. Like the other ones I can really like, you know, do things in my life to make that happen. But getting pregnant is, you know, a blessing from God and you can't always decide when it's going to happen or when it's not going to happen. But that is one of my goals is to fall pregnant in 2021. And again, I feel like if I am, you know just less stressed in general i have more time to just relax and you know focus on david and i i feel like all of all of those goals are really going to help me with that goal of getting pregnant um i did actually make an appointment with my women's health doctor um it's actually going to be in like two days at the time of filming this um and because it's almost been a year of um us trying so she said you know we can just like take a look into some things and, and make sure everything is like okay um and yeah i'm just gonna continue trying to be as healthy as i possibly can be prepping my body for um another pregnancy and but yeah that is a really big goal of mine i really want to fall pregnant in 21 2021 if i have it my way i would like to have a baby in 2021 but that would have to happen very soon in order for that um but yeah just becoming pregnant in 2021 would be amazing and so that is why it is one of my top five goals okay guys that is it those are my five goals for 2021 again um if you have not made goals i highly encourage you to just sit down it can literally be on like a sheet of paper but a sheet of paper that you're gonna like keep up or keep somewhere where you can go back throughout the year and look at that and kind of track your progress towards that but i would highly recommend setting goals like i said it can be literally any amount of goals but as I said, I am really trying to be more, as one of my goals is more intentional. So I set five big goals that I really want to achieve this year. And then at the end of this year, hopefully I'll be able to come back and say that I was um, successful in achieving those five goals. So, okay guys, thanks so much for watching this video and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. I wanna do it all